The coolant expansion tank, or reservoir, is located at the front right side of the engine compartment, as indicated by the red arrow. You will need to remove the right side air duct, yellow arrow, as well as the front engine cover, green arrow, to replace the tank. To remove the front engine cover, simply pull up on the front of the cover and remove it, red arrow. Remove the air duct by compressing the back of the engine cover and then sliding it off the front air duct. Red arrow. Remove the overflow line from the top front of the tank by using a small flathead screwdriver and lifting up on the release clip, as indicated by the red arrow, and pulling the hose out from the tank. Sometimes it helps to push the hose in before pulling it out. The tank has a supply line on the bottom of it, red arrow, that feeds the radiator, yellow arrow. If you are not draining and flushing the coolant system, you can use a turkey baster or fluid pump to remove as much coolant as possible from the tank. Disconnect the level sensor harness from the tank as indicated by the red arrow. Pull up and remove the rubber trim from behind the tank. Use a small flathead screwdriver and gently pry up and remove the clip that holds the wiring harness to the firewall. Red arrow. Pull back on the two tabs on the top of the tank mount, red arrows, and slide the two prongs on the mount, yellow arrows, up and out of the firewall. You can now pull the mount out from the grommet it sits in, red arrow. If you have not drained the system, you will want to clamp off the hose to the tank with hose clamp pliers or vice grips wrapped in a rag. Remove the hose clamp and install the new tank, yellow arrow. If you are quick and hold the hose upright, you can remove the old tank and install a new one without much loss of coolant. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.